black acts head to death's head. First spectacular mayhem issue. They tell me these islands are called the Moro Atoll. 15,000 years ago, two continental plates ground against each other and forced to the surface lava from the Earth's molten core. The lava cooled and these islands were born. 15,000 years ago, a little before my time. Keep it tight, guys. Control picked up energy readings high enough to power a small arsenal. But only a little. Well, why couldn't they put a make on the energy signature, sir? We'd be better prepared if we knew who we're up against. Shield? Aim? I'd say you can stop worrying, Sergeant. It looks like whoever it was didn't walk away from the landing. He is the ultimate assassin, the ultimate mercenary. After 50,000 years of practice, he is a master of his profession. He's a towering, immortal warrior with state-of-the-art armor. He's a monster with a high-tech battle axe and millennia of attitude. He is Black Axe. The Immortality Gambit. You know what they say about first impressions. Repson? What? Holy, who's there? Scout 37 to control. Intruder engaged. Not yet, ah! Scout 37, Scout 37. Speak to me, Scout 37. Easy. Phalanx leader to wingman, take a fix on Scout 37's final position. Follow my lead and keep trackers on wide beam. Wingman Alpha to Phalanx leader, I've got an infrared fix. It's just one guy. Well, soon he'll be one guy in lots of little pieces. Phalanx leader to control, we're in trouble here. Taking the base action. Too easy. Pull back all personnel within the compound. Activate the automatic defense systems. He's killed too many men already. Let the automatics deal with him. Why haven't they picked him up yet? What's the scanner status? There's nothing there, sir. No trace. He must be cloaked somehow. He could be anywhere. No challenge. This is insane. He just sidestepped the most sophisticated track and fire weaponry in the world and bypassed a quantum key locking system. Secure all quarters. Release the horde. But sir, the gates are open. They could escape the compound. We can't. I'll tell you what can't happen. Hydra can't be made to look like amateurs by a lone intruder. Now do as I say. Y y yes, sir. We are a breeding station, and this is what they were bred for. Let them do their job. Company. Practice session. We have a problem here. Whoever he is, he's cutting through our defenses like they're not there. Show me. It is him. About time. I'm on my way. What do you mean with this, I'm on my way? 
Your job is to protect me from those who would wish to steal the products of my research or threaten my person. You have not been employed to play at super... <laughs> Doc, I didn't take this job for the money or for your sparkling conversation. I came to meet someone who's a legend in my line of work. My history tapes call him Black Axe. Seems he was never beaten. I aim to change history. And, Doc, this is no game. Entertaining, yes. But all good things come to an end. Very impressive. But can you do this? Armor's internal systems are still reeling from that blast. Need time to analyze the energy signature. Develop a counter. Need to get back on my feet. Ooh. You go down pretty easily for someone who's meant to be the best. By 2020, when I was created, historians had spent ages tracking you down, said there was evidence you'd lived for thousands of years. Tape said you were unstoppable, uncatchable, an assassin without equal until you retired because there was no one left to challenge you. Well, here I am. Challenge this. Loch Lanark, the Scottish Highlands. Somewhere I call home when I need somewhere to run to. Worst storm this century continues to attack the Loch Lanark area. Loch, tell me something I don't already know. This is Highland Radio wishing you a very good night. With this racket going on over our heads, you must be joking. Now why are ye quivering so, Emily Hall? You're old enough to have seen a hundred storms. This one's just a bit noisier than most. A mug of cocoa will stop your shivering and maybe stop you talking to yourself. I never heard thunder sound like that. So, let's see what does. Whatever it is, it's messed up the external scanners. Oh well, let's see if I can remember how to use this thing. I'm definitely too old for this. I don't know how you got through the gates, but this is as far as you go. Last jump. Drained the axe. Finished it off. Ooh. No energy left. Nothing left. Mr. Hyde. Mr. Hyde, Robert, what are you doing here? Hyde? An old name. A past life. One of many. One I don't use anymore. What have they done to you? Emily, help me. I thought you were dead. The papers reported the accident in 1961. I've kept the castle exactly as you instructed in your will. I knew you would, Sister Emily. I found this door shortly after your death. None of the household staff have ever been allowed down here. Wouldn't have made much difference. It didn't used to glow like this before. It knows I'm here. It's been waiting. I'm home. Hephaestus IV, heal me. As the Medicenter surrounds me with its soothing harmonics, my pain recedes and my mind slips away, gliding back through time to 
London, England, the board of the Mistech Corporation. It appears that they achieved immortality through some mystical rite in A.D. 987. Youngsters. We contacted you, Black Axe, because we have a contract that might interest you. Our corporate intelligence section informed us that a scientist working for Hydra has discovered a genetic key that halts the aging process. A little more work, and you'll be able to buy immortality over the drugstore counter. We can't allow that. Why should I care? Killing a scientist offers no challenge. Which is exactly what we thought before the Mistech shock troop sent to acquire his research materials came back in pieces. Uh, since then, we've lost contact with our sources inside AIM. If our involvement has been discovered, they'll be expecting more of our people, not a freelance operator. And you are the best freelancer in the business, Black Axe. Why did I accept the contract? Over the last half century, I had not accepted any. There seemed nothing left to test my capabilities. After centuries of scheming, fighting, and killing, I took on the challenge of peace and failed. Very well. I accept the contract. How long? Eight days. I don't understand how you can look so well or so young. You haven't aged in 30 years. 32. My axe? Over there. Old friend, now it is your turn to be healed. But you have to eat something. It's been a week since you started work on that contraption and you've hardly tasted a morsel of food. If you want to starve yourself, then... Emily, when did you become so bossy? Ugh, don't look at me like that. You make me feel like a child again. A scared little girl running from the bombs that had killed her parents, who had lost everything and who didn't know which way to turn, who to ask for help. Ow! This is not a night to be running around with your eyes closed. My name is Robert Hyde. Do you need help? There you were, with that smile, with those old old eyes all these years and you haven't changed proximity alarm someone's on the estate I'll try to delay them so you can get ready Emily no self-sacrificial lunacy what Emily get down oh if you've damaged her, you will regret it. Black Axe, we are the Sisters of Grace. For the moment, we represent Miss Tech. Work continues on Moro's Atoll. Mendel still lives. The board wishes to know why. In the past, the board always took the long view. Now they chase after me like frightened children. They must want the immortality gene very badly if they send lackeys to bully me. I will not be bullied. Sisters, fall back. Jesse, capture the queen. I'm on it. No good. Reactions too slow, head still foggy from the healing, muscles still aching, too stiff, too damn slow. I'd say that's about enough. No. 
Now, perhaps you will listen. Too slow. Unprepared. Just like on the island. For now, the board only wishes to be reassured that the contract has not been abandoned. They hope that their faith in you is justified, despite your long retirement. Ugh. We were commissioned to impress upon you the urgency of this assignment. I trust that you have been impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be landing at Narita Airport in approximately 15 minutes. A broken axe, a broken spirit, only one place to mend both. Japan. Next issue, The Hand That Feeds You.